Whether you're adding a room, putting in a pool, or building a fence to your yard, you will need to get a building permit. Building permits ensure the work is done safely and in compliance with the city's zoning ordinance and construction codes. Most alterations or additions to your home are going to require permits, but not all projects will need permits, like painting a wall or installing a fence under three feet. First, get your plans ready to submit to the city. You can submit the plans remotely via email or by using our electronic plan review. You can schedule an in-person appointment by calling 602-262-7811 or by emailing pdd at phoenix.gov. A complete set of plans will, will give me a floor plan. It will give me a electrical. Uh, it'll even show, like this set of plans here, a demolition uh, plan so we know what was there and what they're going to be doing. For small projects, you might be able to get a permit issued over the counter. Larger projects require plan review. You should contact site planning staff first to get setback requirements. Depending on the work, you may need to submit some or all of the following documents. A site plan or plot plan, a floor plan, plumbing and mechanical plans, and electrical and structural drawings. You can find a checklist on the Phoenix Planning and Development website at phoenix.gov pdd. And then we can cover uh, the basics, making sure life and safety is addressed, uh, everything uh, electrically is up to code for their project. Uh, Kevin Barthel is a residential inspector for the city of Phoenix. As a general inspector on the residential sure side, we're responsible for everything from the foundation to the framing to the roofing and everything in between. Once plans are approved, you must get your permits and pay for them before construction begins. An inspector will make several visits to inspect your project as it progresses. What permitting is all about is life safety, making sure that the work that is occurring in our community meets the minimum standards of the International Residential Code. The permit application must include the owner's name, address, and telephone number, a property description including the lot number, and a subdivision name plus a description of the proposed work. Include your address and contact information, a description of the work to be done, and drawings and calculations. Include your contractor's name and their license number. You will need to submit two copies of the plans and supporting documents. In some cases, you may need an architect or engineer's seal. Identify any construction in the right-of-way. Include the valuation or cost of the construction of the proposed work. A licensed contractor is required on all rental properties. A lot of time is dedicated to educating the homeowner, making sure that they're following the process so they understand what the process is, uh, but also making sure that they understand uh, the various documents they may need related to their project. The City of Phoenix has adopted the 2018 Family of International Code Council codes plus the 2017 National Electrical Code. Please visit our website to see the entire list with links to each. If you want to see if your project requires a permit, need to check the status of your permit, or want more information on planning and development or codes, call us at 602-262-7811 or visit our website at phoenix.gov forward slash pdd.